I'm Dr. Roger Goldstein. I'm a respirologist at West Park Healthcare Center at the University of Toronto. Exercise is good for everyone, but if you have chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, also known as COPD, it's essential. In fact, exercise is one of the most powerful and effective tools available for managing COPD. If you have COPD, you know that breathing can sometimes be difficult. You may be tempted to take it easy or not to exercise at all. But the less exercise you do, the less you'll be able to do. That's because your muscles become weaker and less efficient. They will use more oxygen and have to work harder to do the same activities. This can leave you feeling more tired and more short of breath. Regular exercise stops this downward spiral of breathlessness and muscle fatigue by helping your heart, lungs and muscles to work as efficiently as possible. There are more benefits to regular exercise. Inhale and slowly exhale as your elbows go back. It helps me improve my mood, which gives me more freedom to do the things I like. And uh, I get stronger and stronger and I don't have to rely on my husband for everything like I used to do. Uh, the great benefit I get out of exercising, it just keeps me fit and then it reduces the risk of me getting COPD. What's helped me maintain my dependence, it's, it's all the exercise that we, we do here. Well, it makes me much more relaxed and because I'm more relaxed, I can sleep better at night and wake up much more refreshed and not as tired. Before beginning any exercise program, Remember to talk to your doctor first, as your doctor knows your medical history and can clear you to exercise safely. Then learn how to breathe more easily. Pursed lip breathing is a technique that can help you manage your breathing as you exercise. Inhale and slow exhale through pursed lips. Relax your neck and shoulder muscles. Breathe in for two seconds through your nose, keeping your mouth closed. Purse your lips as you would to whistle and breathe out for four seconds. And slow breath out. If you have shortness of breath while exercising, focus on breathing out through pursed lips. A fitness routine for someone with COPD should include three main types of exercise. Aerobic exercise, muscle strengthening, and stretching. Aerobic exercise is an activity that increases your heart rate for a sustained period of time. Dancing, walking, stair climbing, bike riding and swimming are all great forms of aerobic exercise. Aerobic exercise makes your heart muscles stronger and more efficient, so your body uses less oxygen to do the same amount of work. Try to do aerobic exercise at least three times per week. Muscle strengthening is important too. When your muscles are stronger, your breathing muscles have an easier time. Working out with light weights is a good way to build strength. Stretching is important for people with COPD as it keeps your muscles flexible and relaxed. It can also help your joints move more freely. It's a good way to cool down after exercising. There are special exercise programs for people with long-term lung conditions like COPD. They are the key to and pulmonary rehabilitation. And breath out. Pulmonary rehabilitation teaches you how to safely exercise, how to get the most energy from each breath, and how to manage your disease. These programs also help with your understanding of your condition. They make sure that you know how to take your medications properly and they will teach you methods to control any feelings of anxiety and depression. Talk to your doctor about getting a referral to a program near you. If there isn't a program near you, ask your doctor to refer you to a physiotherapist who can set up a customized exercise program to suit your needs. Exercise can help you take control of your COPD and improve your quality of life. To learn more about living well with COPD, visit www.lung.ca slash COPD.